do we have a bone collector here? I mean, who, so somebody forgot some bones that needed to be collected. And that's what I provided. I love <laughs> I'm so excited for this season. I watched the first episode. It's fantastic. I mean, what are you most looking forward to this season? Oh my God. It was so much. <laughs> I'm excited that you get to just learn more about me. You know what I mean? I think last season I was like getting haze, you know, you really didn't get a chance to learn all about me and what I'm about. And so I feel like this season you'll get to really dive into who Drew is, um, more about Ralph, you know, and see his different layers and his different sides. Um, so I'm really excited about that. I feel like this season was more um, just connected, you know, even with allowing me to get to know the ladies more and build some really solid, some solid friendships. Yeah. I mean, who would you say that you have the most solid friendship with after everything? I would say pretty much I'm good with everybody, you know, it's, well, you can't get along with everybody, but you know, for the most part, like most of the group, um, you know, Sonia and I, we just, I don't know, we couldn't get on the same page uh, this season. It was really hard. It was really challenging. And um, Sheree and I, we just had a big misunderstanding. And so just trying to always get back on the same page with that. But outside of those, like I, I got along with everybody. And I think we had some really good moments. I would say definitely for me, more fun this season than last season. Yeah. And like, 10 times more, like <laughs> definitely a lot more fun, a lot more vulnerable, a lot deeper. Um, and so it was, it was really great. Yeah. I mean, we see in the first episode that you and Kenya, obviously you guys didn't have a great first season last season or the great season last season. I mean, and you kind of say that you wanted to start fresh. I mean, what did that kind of mean to you? And were you nervous about maybe filming with her again? <sighs> I wasn't nervous. Um, you know, it was for me just like, I kind of didn't remember why we were upset at each other. I don't, I just know there were things that she said that were hurtful to me and the body shaming. And I just felt like last season I was on defense a lot and it didn't give me a fair opportunity for everyone to really get to know me. Um, and I wanted to do that this season. So that was my reason of just like, Hey, let's just start over. Let's try to get to know each other because I feel like if you really don't know me and know what I'm about, how can you have all these issues? There were real issues. And at the reunion, she did apologize. So I was like, well, I'm not mad. You know, anyone that can own and apologize, I feel like we should definitely be able to move on. And so that's, that was me extending that olive branch to say, you know, let's just try to get into a good place. You know, you're obviously in a different space. I'm in a different space in my life. So why not? Yeah, and we did. We did. Definitely. Did the body shaming really bother you? I mean, you know, you you would oh, say yeah. in the first episode that, you know, you kind of went through like a mommy makeover and things like that. Did that have anything to do with the body shaming or is it just something that you did to make yourself feel better? Absolutely. It was like, I want to do something for me. I have three kids. Before that, though, I had a hysterectomy. Right. So after, you know, that season, it was like, let me, you know, talk about, and it gave me an opportunity to talk about my diagnosis, which was a form of endometriosis called endomyosis. And I was like, let me look into it because, you know, it was giving me issues a lot of people didn't know. Um, it was like the last episode I was dealing with really bad cramps. Mm. Um, and a lot of people didn't even know I was going through it. Like throughout the season, I was like taking pain medication for these intense cramps. And I was like, I don't want to go through that this time. You know, like I've been dealing with that for all these years. Um, I was scared of surgery, but um, I actually went to Dr. Jackie here in Atlanta. She's on married to medicine. She's the best. And I was like, she was like, I'm not playing with you. We are doing this. You need to, because the condition is serious, you know? And I was like, oh, well, let's do it. And once I went and had that surgery, I was like, well, can we just put everything back where it should be? <laughs> and, and it was like, well, let's do it while I'm down. Let me just also do something that's going to make me happy. And that's what I did. Definitely. Can you say what you did or? Are you I did everything. I did a whole make mommy makeup. It was like the package, like you put boobs <laughs> back in place, you know, make them a little smaller because I was having neck issues. And then, yeah, like I had a hernia. And so they did the hernia repair and a tummy tuck. And yeah, that was it. I was, I was good. I'm happy but the important and this is what i learned though so you can do all of that but if you do not work out then you it won't look like you did anything <laughs> so that is when i got involved i was you know approached to become the face of dropping with drew when i was like 
Well, yeah, because I had this surgery, but like she still needs to look good. She still needs to lose this weight and more importantly, be healthy. Um, because with all of the diagnosis, you guys met me with an Achilles rupture. So it was like, I need to make sure after having three kids, I am eating for my body type. I am eating for my blood type. I am working out. I'm doing the things that's going to give me a healthy, long life. And and that's what um, Drop It With Drew is about, which is why I'm so excited about it. And it was for me, right? But then... In result, I help so many people mm -hmm. uh, be able to achieve weight loss goals that they've never been able to achieve. People have lost a hundred pounds, over a hundred pounds. People that had diagnosis like myself are like, I went to the doctor and they took me off of this medication or they reduced my, you know, dosage amount. And so that for me was so fulfilling. And I was like, if I can do this for other people, um, it was really started because I needed to do it for myself. Yeah. I mean, what was your reaction when you watched the first episode and Sonia and Candy felt that you were lying when you said that you dropped 25 pounds in three weeks. Yeah. Well, my math wasn't mathing and I'll on that part. I, I, <laughs> I provided the picture, you know, that where you saw me, like you saw my belly hanging out. So come on, I have nothing to hide. It was just, my math was wrong. I lost 25 pounds with the whole program that I did. Um, our program is 21 day challenges. Mm -hmm. So in the first challenge, yes, I lost 10 pounds. That, mm -hmm. That's correction. 10 pounds. But I did the, you know, I did the challenge multiple times. So I ended up achieving 25 pounds. So that's what I led with. I was excited for my girls to learn about it. So I think I tried to oversell in that moment and they, they got me. One thing about my girls, they will call you out. They will right. get you out when you're not right. So in that moment, yeah. But at the end of the day, like, you'll see so much more about Dropper with Drew and I'm so excited mm -hmm. because you'll see real participants that have made real life changes. I mean, people that came to us 300 pounds, 200 pounds, it's really more like the biggest loser in a sense that we have this great, incredible community um, and we're motivating each other. We're a village and we're all on the journey together to really just be healthy. I wouldn't even say just lose all this weight quick. It's really more about the journey and the lifestyle. That's being great. Healthy. Congrats. That's awesome. That's really fantastic. And, you know, and I think we have a new session coming up. So anybody look on my Instagram, you know, I post about driver, which on my Instagram, but we have a new 21 day challenge getting ready to start. So I would urge anyone to uh, your mom, your grandma, really, truly, it's a family affair to sign up for Drop Away Drew. So fun, I love that. Um, you mentioned fun. before, you know, we're gonna lo learn a lot more about your marriage this season. And, you know, it kind of hits off right off the bat. I mean, how difficult was that for you to kind of talk about and how hard is it going to be for you to relive that? Oh God, it's always so hard to relive mm -hmm. it. You know, for us, we've gone through counseling and we're still in counseling. Well, we've been in counseling our whole marriage, so that's nothing new, but you know, we just, as we grow each year, we learn new things about each other. And what you guys are seeing is really just our marriage. Like people that know us know, like one day you're good, one day you're not. Marriage is not, you know, easy. It's not a walk in the park, mm -hmm. but we've made a decision to stay committed. You know, we're not willing to give up that easy and we're pushing through and it's not always nice. It's not always easy. And you guys just kind of have a front row to that. I, I sometimes hate that it's all out there, but anybody that knows my husband is like, he, he does not put on for the camera. Mm -hmm. However, we're feeling on that day. That's just what you see. And during that time, we were going through a situation with an assistant and it was good for me to be able to share with my girls because I feel like when you're going through it by yourself, you're like, OK, is it just me? Am I crazy? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm tripping. And I think talking to Sonia and Candy, even in that moment, it allowed me to say, you know, you're not crazy. He's tripping. And now we're going to talk to him about it because he walked in. So <laughs> it, it gave an opportunity for Ralph to hear just not my voice, but to know, like, maybe this is something we need to, you know, dig into and figure out why this is happening. Right. You know? So and then like you ended up moving to Chicago for a little bit, right, with the kids. And then was divorce kind of on the table or is it something that you always really wanted to to work through? it always feels like we're almost about to get divorced. Like, <laughs> like at that time I left because I was like, I'm done. And like, I don't want to deal with this. And I don't think my kids need to be dealing with us arguing. And so, yeah, I went home and I was there and it was amazing. And I got to be around my family and Ralph came to Chicago. We were actually at the circus and he showed up at the circus. And then he called one of my sisters and showed up at the circus was like, mm -hmm. okay, this has been too long. You're tripping. I need my family back. Yeah. You know? So it is, it is really truly um, the essence of who we are. Like, it, it, sometimes it's me and sometimes it's him that's like, we're not going to give up. We need to come back home, regroup and figure out what we're going to do moving forward. Um, and that's the journey we're on, honestly, mm -hmm. every day, every right. day. 
after like everything with Tampa and the assistant, do you trust him? I do. I honestly, like in my heart, I trust my husband because mm -hmm. I also know the other side of him growing up in a single family household, him also losing his father. I grew up in a two family household. My mother's a pastor. My father's a pediatrician. And the love I received was different. You know, my environment I grew up in were different. And a lot of times, as we saw even the last season with um, our counselor, Love, when she said, well, he used to run away from home when he was younger. Like, that was a real moment for me because I was like, wow. So he wasn't, it wasn't me. This is his mechanism of how he deals with that, that whatever, that trigger. And so things like that really helped me to be more, um, I guess, forgiving mm -hmm. and more sensitive to the fact that we're both on a journey of like growth. And so when we go to a deeper level to understand certain things, we just try to work through it. You know, we're not willing just to throw in our marriage. We've got three beautiful children, but every day is not perfect. You know, marriage is hard, it's a roller coaster. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm just willing to show that, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely. No, it's, it's very relatable. Yeah. The marriage is not easy all the time. It's definitely it's not all rainbows and butterflies. <laughs> people will see more, even, you know, getting to know me more, you'll see more layers of Ralph. Like I think people have only seen one side of Ralph, which is true who he is, but why I fell in love with him, why I ultimately, you know, married him as my husband is he's so many other things that are incredible. He's a great father. Um, and he's got layers of just truly just being so giving. Mm -hmm. Um, and I know deep down he loves me, you know what I mean? And and although it doesn't always come out perfectly and he does some effed up stuff, you know, I'm always willing to sit down and hear him out and try to understand, Definitely. you know? Um, and so I know that this first episode kicks off with Marlo's big event. I mean, what was it like finding <laughs> out that she finally got her peach? Were you so happy about that? I was, cause yeah. like, you know, again, last season, it was like so much drama, right? that I felt like we didn't really get a chance to know each other. So this season it was like, and Marlo, someone I connected with last season, she was like helping me with my style and she was just being a real cool person to me. So I felt like this season we needed to build on that, you know, and get in to see how she makes her money, get into late archive and all her fashion, seeing her as a mumsy, like, that I feel is priceless. I think um, people have been waiting to see this side of her. So yeah. for me to like really be able to get to know her in that way, it was amazing. Yeah. Was it strange filming without Portia and Cynthia this season? <laughs> of course. Like I miss my girls even now. Like I miss them. I came in through Cynthia and then Portia, you know, was my neighbor. Our girls play together. We hang out all the time. So not having my girl here, you know, we text a lot, but it wasn't the same, you know. Right obviously not having her around, but it, it did give me an opportunity to get to know the other ladies and Portia is doing amazing now. Like we're all getting ready for her wedding and mm -hmm. she's living a very exciting time right now. Definitely. And you said, you know, earlier that you and Sonia and Sheree kind of didn't see eye to eye this season. What was your first impression of a uh, Sheree? I'm, it's Sheree. Like, come on. She's the OG yep. first season. Like she's legendary. So I was super excited because I grew up watching her, you know, she was, she was on here when I was like, this is, this is, show is amazing. I was a fan. So I definitely wanted to get to know her though and, and learn from her. And I was just, it was unfortunate that we didn't hit it off and that just never happened. You know, she wasn't the person, I guess that I thought she was. So. Mm -hmm. Who was throwing bones this season? <laughs> Who was throwing bones? What? <laughs> Do we have a bone collector here? I mean, who, so somebody forgot some bones that needed to be collected and that's what I provided. I love that. <laughs> um, what happened with you and Sonia this season? Because, you know, she comes in as, or we're introduced to her as your friend. Um, so did, the, did being on the show kind of change your friend dynamic? Yeah, I feel like, you know, Sonia and I initially had great connections. She's a wife, she's a mother. Um, she's super successful. She's an Olympian. Like, you know, it doesn't get much better than that. And we hung out as a couple, you know, we went out to dinner. She came to my mom's birthday party. It was amazing. And I was like, we're going to be the young girls. We're going to have fun. We're going to take over and just be lit. And she just turned out not to be that girl. So it is what it is. She just turned out not to be that girl. And yeah, we just couldn't get on track. That's all. It kind of fell off. And mm -hmm. even now I'm just like learning her and, you know, you'll see as you watch, obviously people will get to see who she really is. So, yeah. Yeah. Winning. Who, um, then, then do you, and who else do you kind of go at it with this season? Just Sheree and Sonia or? That was it. I, what was I, it? I with everybody else. Like, good. 
I'll say I had a great time. Like this season versus last season, I laughed a lot. I I was getting back to me. This chapter was like, I'm acting. I did an amazing film on Lifetime called Lion Sisters. Mm-hmm. So I am, I'm just in a place where I was like, I am finally here. Um, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, but I'm also an actress and I'm very passionate about that. And I'm just more so focused on the things that make me happy. And so in this group, I was like, it's a no drama zone. I'm not letting anybody take me out of my character ever again, um, cause I'm not proud of that. So um, I just really pushed to let people see who I am, what I'm about, which is an actress. I'm, I'm getting to my music. I'm so excited about that. And I just didn't have time for as much drama. However, I don't let people disrespect me. So I'm still that girl. I'm still the girl that's gonna set healthy boundaries and, and, and demand respect for me and my family. Hey everyone, I'm Christina Garibaldi, the host of Us Weekly Celebrity Coverage. Don't forget to hit subscribe for the latest celebrity news, tips, and video. And for much more content, make sure you head on over to usmagazine.com, the official home of Us Weekly Magazine.